Hello guys, in this week's episode I'm going to show you how to avoid or to prevent duplicates in your Excel spreadsheets. So first of all I want to show you quite a nifty trick if you don't notice. If you highlight uh, column A and you go to home and conditional formatting, you can go to highlight cell rules and you can highlight duplicate values. So basically what this does is we're going to fill it with a red color. So if it picks up a duplicate within this range or in the column so i'm going to put in the invoice number 1001 we know in a2 there's already a duplicate so if we hit enter enter so it will show it in red and the same with 1002 then it will show that one in red as well so i'm just going to undo that so that's a quite a nifty trick to show you guys how to find duplicate values but uh, in this tutorial i would like you to learn how to avoid or prevent them uh, entirely so what we're going to do is we i want you guys to highlight from a2 to a20 so you can copy this in a workbook for yourself to follow with so uh, this is for invoice numbers so from a2 up until a20 i just want to pick that range and then instead of going home conditional formatting we're going to go to data and we're going to go to data validation so click on that data validation drop down and we're going to click on data validation and now where it says any value we're going to go with custom we're going to say custom and we're going to write in a formula so here in the formula i would like you to put in equals count if so we're going to use a count if function open brackets you're going to select the range so from a2 up until a20 just to remember to lock in the range so here just before the a in A2, I would like you to put in shift and four to put in dollar signs and in front of the two as well, as well as in front of this A and the 20 as well. So, and I will also like you to go with comma and where the comma is, then you lock it in at A2, uh, no, not an absolute reference, close the brackets equals one. So I'm just going to quickly go into this formula quickly so you will see it's count if uh, absolute reference a2 to a20 comma a2 close the brackets equals one and enter so basically we're going to say okay and now the um, data validation is put into place so you're in a7 we can go ahead and put in 1006 as the next invoice number but once we put in a duplicate number 1001 uh, it's going to show uh, it picks up because we put in that that, that uh, validation as well and it's going to show this error message the value doesn't match please retry so now you can put in retry even if you put in the 1006 we just input it's going to say uh, excuse me uh, we don't want that so, and we can also customize this message. So this message currently reads, this value doesn't match the data validation restriction defined for the cell, but that doesn't give the user any information on what's going on. So let's just hit cancel. And now I would like you to highlight A2 to A20 once again. And we're gonna go back to our data validation that we've got going here. And I would like you to click on error alert. So we can give this error a title. So this title is a duplicate detected and what the error message is please do not enter a duplicate there we go and we can say okay so now let's try that one again if you put in a 1006 now it's going to show okay we've got the there's the duplicate and now it says duplicate detected please do not enter a duplicate you can retry or cancel the entry so guys this is very nice functionality to prevent or avoid duplicates but let's say a duplicate did manage to go through so what we can do is i'm just gonna copy over this sheet here so i'm just gonna highlight a2 to a7 Control c and if you go to here in d let's go for d Control v and let's put in a duplicate it's not going to pick up that duplicate because it's not in the data validation range but let's say we have a set of data and we would like to remove the du duplicates what we can do is just highlight the column where the duplicates are you go to data and here is a very nice nifty um, button here 
du uh, remove duplicates and you just click on that button and you say OK and you will see it will take away that extra duplicate. It's going to say one duplicate has been removed. So that's quite nice functionality as well. This works um, with text strings as well. So if you've got email addresses or employee numbers or student numbers, this works with numbers as well as with text strings. So guys, I hope you liked this video. Remember to hit that like button, hit this little subscribe button down below so I can bring you more Excel awesome videos. Until next time guys, cheers.